So everybody, welcome to a special edition of Beyond the Ordinary show today. Um, and it's special for lots of reasons. First and foremost, because it's freaking Debbie Johnson. And every time she's up, it's just uh, it's so good. So much fun and so much wisdom gets shared. And what a fantastic opportunity that um, we have this relationship with Debbie where she's willing to come on and and do readings for all of us and share what's coming up and our connections with the angels and with our guides and even departed ones. So um, yeah, it's really special. And right now, even though we're in replay season, I wanted to run Debbie through the show. What a fantastic time uh, to have a special live call. And this is the time where we typically do the membership living in the extraordinary. And it's membership was cool of having Debbie on and share with everybody on the on the ordinary so it's wonderful and i know y'all are familiar with debbie already she's a psychic intuitive connects with your angels with guides with just just so much and brings in such truth with such benevolence and heart and love and it's again if you're new to debbie you're in for a tree and if you're not new you know to raise your hand um and ask your questions and take this opportunity so we're going to dive in here. And, you know, before we even dive in completely, I also want to share, let me make sure that's not April texting me. No, April. <laughs> um, I want to share in April, if you would, will you type in the special offer link in the chat box? Um, we're in BTO replays and the special offers continue. So if you are compelled to have a session with Debbie, um, and receive some other amazing tools. We'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, but the link is being shared here in the chat box. So you can go in and start booking your session now if you choose to. Um, so take advantage of that for sure. And again, we'll get deeper into that a little bit later in the call. And Debbie, with that, thank you so much for being here in December for us and just sharing your wisdom and your love and your passion with all of us. Thanks for having me, John. I love I love being here. I I'm always excited to be here. And hi, everybody. I'm excited that you're all here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Debbie, what are you feeling we're accessing to? And I didn't realize when we booked you for today that it was going to be the eclipse and the new. Yeah. <laughs> so, I woke up this morning and I real really early in the morning went to the gym and people are typically really open, really nice, and a good. Everybody was kind of in their own space and a little edgy, but not knowing why, but trying to be open at the same time. Mm. There's definitely some moon energy running through and it felt, it felt very eclipsy, very like that transitioning that's happening through our emotions and our embodiment and what we're progressing through. And I'd love to get your take um, as to what you're feeling during this, this wave that we're riding. Um, before we dive into live calls? Well, the the eclipse, what I noticed today, I, I felt it felt different. You can tell it just feels different when that kind of stuff's going on. But I noticed I needed more for myself, more quiet. I needed, you know, like if the store was busy, I didn't want to go in. If, if uh, you know, I needed less noise, yeah. energy noise, and also audio noise. It seemed like I needed less. And I feel like everyone else might have felt that. It, it sounds like that's what you're explaining too. I, def needed I needed some separation time, yes. Yeah, yeah. So it feels pretty intense. So I, I would say this is probably, you know, don't make, don't try and do too much today. Just get through the day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, most of y'all have made it. I'm in Hawaii, so I have a little bit longer time. Right. Uh, those, those of y'all in Europe are already done. You're good. <laughs> in Australia, you're a day ahead of us. So congratulations, yeah. you survived. They, they made it. <laughs> Do the angels have anything to share about what this time is um, is bringing forward for us? Is it different than other times? It, it always seems like we're having the conversation, the times are changing, the times are changing, the times are changing. What is it about this time? Okay, guys, this, this I have noticed recently, and it feels really strong right now from the angels, mm. that the more attached we are to something, be it uh, love, 
a person, money, the actual, we actually place a barrier to getting it. And, and it seems like that's enhanced right now. It's extra strong. So if you're, if you're worrying or attached or have a lot of fear about, let's say finance, the worry and the attachment to it or the need for it is actually gonna push it further away. It's magnified right now, John. I have felt that it's more magnified, but it's also magnified in the reverse. The moment you release it, or you know, I've watched several people, the moment they release it, it comes right to them at like full speed. Wow. So that is going on very strong right now in 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 every level of consciousness, you know be it our, our personal lives, our political world, you know, in the world climate, all of it, the actual, the animals, you know, it, it, the weather, it just seems, it seems like the more we're attached, it's a very spiritual time too. The more we're attached, the more we'll push it away. We let go, release it, it comes right to us. Wow. I'm wowing. I had a session with someone yesterday. It was an impromptu session. And, and there was a, a pull. I've got to get this out into the world. You know who you are. You're on the call. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get this out into the world. It's, it needs to be this. And there was a, a strong attachment to it. And the session mm -hmm. was really, it's like letting go of the need of it having to be anything and let it just be what it wants to be. Mm -hmm. Um, and so what you're speaking about, it relaxes even what I'm doing with myself in different aspects of my life that oops, sometimes it can be such a blind spot while we're in it, but if we just pause long enough, we can actually feel the resistance and the agitation within our physical body as well. And that's yes. such a barometer to, um, to be able to gauge where we are in relationship to that. Um, it's a codependence. If I get this, I'll be mm -hmm. okay. Correct. Mm. Or a fear. Like, yeah. it's like a fear. It's got that, that anxiety energy. Yeah, that's mm. codependence is, is right on. Wow. So I'm so glad you're bringing this in. And y'all, can y'all feel that? Can you feel anything that you just, you just have to get? It, it's just, it's, mm -hmm. if I had that. And it's not even if I had that, there's just something in it that is, so magnetizing but it's not a magnetizing because it's meeting you it's a magnetizing because there's a need or a fear mm -hmm. that's that's leading um and if we can recognize that need or fear then we can be in relationship with the fear instead of in relationship with that thing that we're trying to get and when that comes into balance then just opens just opens in new ways oh amazing debbie Thank you for sharing that. Oh yeah, I've, I've noticed it with myself, with clients, and I just noticed it's magnified. It's super mm -hmm. magnified right now. So you guys, it's like, a, it's like a magical little thing you can do. Let, let it go and see what happens. It's probably gonna boomerang right at you. Wow. Oh, I love, I'm gonna practice boomeranging. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, this is so good, Debbie. I'll tell you what, we have so many people on the line already. A lot of people, their hands raised. Let's get into Q&A. Unless there's something yeah. else that you feel compelled wants to come through first for the group. That was for the, no, that was what I felt. I didn't know. We're good. Let's do it. All right. Fantastic. All right, y'all. We're going into Q&A. So let's go to um, first callers here. Judy, let's start with you. Judy Pesmeyer, please. Hi, John. Thank you so Hi. much. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Judy. Hi. How are you? You look Good. beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thanks for being I, here, Judy. Thank you. I um, I had an experience the other day, and uh, something, um, some information got to me, and it put me in such a shock. Um, and I, I wondered if maybe um, you can give me some insight on it. I, I, I don't know how much you want me to tell you, um, but. I, I'm assuming I'm, I'm looking at it as a 3D incident 
and I want to take it to a better level. And I've been waking up the last couple of days in the middle of the night with more and more information. Um, but it, it was so traumatizing to me that I, I, it's been a long time since I felt this way. Um, and I, I wonder because things have been going on in my life that I feel like I'm not necessarily participant in it, but I'm a witness. And mm -hmm. this time witnessing has been very difficult for me. And I, I was wondering if you can give me any insight on that. I don't, if you want more information, I'll give you more. No, no, I'll tell you two things I heard while you were talking. Mm -hmm. I heard, I heard mother loves you. I heard it several times. Mother loves you. Mother loves you really soft. And I also saw the number four, which is an angel number. That means answer to prayer. You, you, you know, the angels have heard your prayer around this situation. There's an answer to prayer coming. The way I heard mother loves you, it sounded like it was coming from heaven. It sounded like a voice out of heaven. It was soft. That's how I can tell. So it was, it was like giving you comfort. There was comfort. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. That really helps. Yeah. yeah. Rest in that, Judy. I, it's, it's beautiful. That's, yeah, I mean, that's the you. answer. Yeah. yeah I feel that also. <laughs> Blessings, Judy. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks so much. You got uh, it, Judy. I felt myself relaxing as you said that. So beautiful. Um, all right, let's go to the next right. caller. Let's go to Lori. Lori Young. Hello. Hello. Hi, John. Hi, Hi Lori. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't have a, a specific question, but I just feel very um, connected to the angels and I was wondering if they had any messages. As soon as you, I saw you, my ears went crazy, like, like high, high frequency. Have you been hearing like high noises, weird noises in your ear, high pitch? Yeah. Okay. You, you, you have that clear audience. You're hearing frequencies. You're hearing loved ones. You're, it's all coming in your ears. My ears went nuts when I started looking at you. So you have you have information when the sounds change in your ears, when they get higher, that's angelic. They'll be like one level, then they get even higher, it's angelic. So pay attention to what your ears are doing. There's a lot of information coming to you that way. Ah, do I, when I hear the changes in pitches, do I think about or look at what's going on around me or how do I interpret that to, you know it what I mean? Mean, Yeah, yeah, it, it means you have a loved one or an angel within eight feet of you when your ears are going nuts. Which is most of the time, yes. <laughs> oh, but they change, right? The pitches change? Yes. So as the pitch changes, there might be a new one coming in into the eight foot field. And if it goes really high, then you have an archangel who just walked in. Okay. So play with that a little bit. Beautiful. Very fun. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got that. It's going on. <laughs> hey, Debbie, when you get that information and... It, perhaps you get the different pitches. What type of questions do you ask? What are some good lead questions that we don't know where to start um, to, to start to have that relationship with those guides in that different way? So the first thing I'll do is I go, okay, who's here? Mm -hmm. And I'll wait to see if I get a thought, you know, right away. Like I'll ask who's there and I might think a name or feel a name so the first thing you say acknowledge it mm. and anything in the ear frequency that's high which i'm talking the you know the different higher pitches are all of the light that's really important i forgot to tell lori that but the higher pitches are all from you know light beings but you know if the pitch goes from low you know it's like a more of a normal pitch to a high pitch that there's also an archangel there too if it's bouncing high 
medium to high. Nice, nice. Yeah, low energy is almost inaudible. Low energy is, if there's something low frequency and you're clairaudient like Lori, you're gonna almost feel it. You're gonna feel it like in the, like a low, low note. Imagine like, like if you hear that hip hop with the really low bass, you know, it's just in your chest almost. It's a different feeling. Mm. Wonderful. That's a low, yeah. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. And uh, Lori, thanks for asking that because this is such a great yeah. question to get into. Today I had, I was sitting at the computer and all of a sudden I had like this pressure coming in into my ear also. And you can feel it's like a pressure that lasts one to 10 seconds and then just kind of goes away. Um, and I never quite know what it is. Sometimes I know what it is, but sometimes I don't. And I just, I trust that I'm receiving what I'm supposed to receive and it will reveal itself. Um, and I'll, so I'll ask you for me since we're on the call. What was that pressure and um, what's part of the interpretation that's coming in or the communication? So the pressure means something crossed your magnetic field. Mm. A, a being on the other side. Now, Archangel Michael is the first one I think of because Michael actually has this like two magnets kind of pushing the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Michael has that feeling. He can actually just make it because he's so strong. It almost feels like a magnet went into your magnetic field. It's the magnetic cross. Oh, interesting. Angels say you felt something powerful. I did. Angelic and powerful. Wow. Visitor, visitor. And, and for what purpose? So, the, the way Lori was getting it was in her ears. You're getting it this way right now or this time through sensation. So mm -hmm. it's the same energy come, you know, in an in a, in a explanation, but in a different feeling. Okay. But uh, I'll tell you, Michael just said he's, He's giving you protective guidance mm. through your intuition. So almost like a download for you oh. of yeah. protective guidance. Let me you. see if I muted themselves. <laughs> when you, are you on your way home? They're in my reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's hijacking my reading? Is Thanks, babe. You? I got it. At least we got the babe in there. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> That was great. That's awesome. Thank you, Debbie. And again, I wanted to share that. I thought that can serve some of y'all also as we're getting, these energies are really amplifying a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're getting guidance, so it's super important. Um, all right, let's go to the next caller, Tara. Let's go to you. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Hi Tara. Hi, Debbie. How are you? You do look so beautiful. Oh my gosh, As usual. thank you, thank you. Um, I, that is so true for me right now about wanting things so much. I mean, that's true for me all the time, but <laughs> that must be really what's going on right now because I can think of instances where I've said, oh, okay, I'll just let it go. And then the next thing I know, I get a call, you know? And then mm -hmm. I changed my mindset again, okay. I'm just going to be, it's going to be okay. Any way it is, I'll be okay with it. And then I, everything's going along. And then I change my mindset and boom, push back. No deal. I love it. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. I so, love it. <laughs> that's a big help. But I was wondering if you have any other message for me. I keep seeing three love, you have three loved ones here. You don't just have one, you got three. They're all around you. And I want to, one has the letter N. Uh huh. N, N. That's like my name. father. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's the first one. And then there's a C. That letter C. My grandmother, Christina. No way. Oh my God. I love this. Mm -hmm. And one more M. M like 
Mary, M. Hmm. M. No M? Not that I can think of right now. Not no one okay. real close. With them, they're together. So there's, it'll make sense later. Uh -huh. It'll make sense. It'll make sense. There's three of them with you, but they're helping you right now. And they're also showing me a birthday gift. So someone's birthday is coming up or they know it's a birthday recently or on it coming up soon. There was, was there one birthday. there was one that just happened mm -hmm. there was, they all know they all know yeah that was the bulk of them in the family are in the end of you know end of november beginning of december <clears throat> they were there they all came to visit they were there and, and one more my grandmother margaret my other grandmother there you go I, and I never think of her being with me. Did they all know each other? They seem to know oh, each yeah. other. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they were gomas, you know, an Italian gomas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're helping you right now. And there's something significant about that birthday. Was, was there a gathering that day or? Yes. Yes. It was my mother's birthday. That's it. They were there and they, they, they were helping. I feel like they're helping with your mother. They're helping your mother, helping you with your mother. Yes, it was a big reunion for the family. Yeah, they're still, they're still with you. They, they, oh, I got chills. I feel like they helped make it happen and they showed up. I felt like they whispered in everyone's ear, you know, let's do this and let's make this happen. And they, they helped coordinate it through consciousness, which well, is what I knew they my did. father was there because <laughs> my sister, my sister knew it too. The music came on and oh. it was always a, a song. And then my sister started to cry and she doesn't really, I don't know how much she believes, but I, I knew he was there before that. I, I just, you know, I, I had, and then the song, he, he, he confirmed he was there. So T Tara, I want to ask a question to really facilitate for, for you and for the rest of the audience as well. Be okay. is this coming through in Tara's question as to, I feel like I'm reaching like, a, you know, like the beginning of the conversation, like I'm leaning in really hard, I'll call it. Um, what do her guides or her grandparents and her family have to say about helping her? Um, get to a place where it's evolving rather than being stuck in that chasing type of energy. They all said, we got it. Mm. They, they're, they're like, we're doing it for you. Let us do it. Like, give it to us. We got it. <laughs> give it to us. Debbie, thank you. It's like, it's, can we surrender it mm -hmm. for our guides? Those things that let, we're holding let on them to. Do it. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? Like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> nice. Yeah. If you want someone to do your investments, call Warren Buffett. Call in your Warren <laughs> Buffett team, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it, it's, you know, the surrender is there. It's, it's the patience. Mm. Oh, <laughs> and the surrender. Right? You know, it's like, okay, but here, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm surrendering to it. That's the one thing about being human, you know, as long as we're <laughs> on the earthly plane, or I, I should say, as long as we're on the earthly plane, we, we have to battle time and our, our patience and yeah. Wonderful. Tara? Yes. Loving you. Loving thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. For thank you, Tara. Thank you, Debbie. Yes. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right. <laughs> We're gonna keep moving on here. Y'all again, individual sessions, private sessions with Debbie are, are in the special offer. April, type it into the chat box again so y'all can get to it quickly and start scheduling your sessions. But we're gonna continue here again. We'll, we'll get into a quick description a little bit later. Um, for right now, I'd love just rolling through these. Um, Denise, Terry, you're just standing on, I love your background. So I have to call on you. 
Thank you. I'm pretending I'm in Hawaii for my sauna. <laughs> I'm in California. Um, awesome. Debbie, Debbie, I was wondering if um, the guides, angels have any messages for me. I'm in a place of just really deep surrender right now as I um, am going through kind of a, a conscious uncoupling with my partner and um, really asking for guidance from the universe as to the timing of all of this because we share young children and it's not just me it's multiple people affected and so i'm really trying to do that with the most spirit and heart in mind for for everyone for the family and so i wonder if there's any guidance for looking ahead in the next year especially given we're in the middle of a pandemic and you know trying to figure out when's the right time to uncouple and separate households and still care for our children in a loving way. So as soon as you started talking, I saw 777. Mm. I have chilled. It means this is the right choice. It mm. means that the choice, the decision that you've made is right. So you're doing everything right. Now, when I think of the 777, I think of 21. Hmm. And I thought equinox. So when's the next, e the next equinox? Is Monday. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. God. That's right. That's now. <laughs> 21 is equinox. So there is, there's a step taken on the 21st. Mm -hmm. There's a step coming up on the 21st. Mm -hmm. A piece, not all, but one piece happens then. I just, I have, I just, I just, I just, I just, yeah, <laughs> I do too. It's, it's, it's like angel confirmation yeah. that you're not making a mistake. Right. And, but it's in little pieces. Mm hmm. So I don't think this is one big overhaul. Yeah, I, I agree. There's little steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just surrendering to guidance and allowing it to arise through spirit, through guidance, through signs, through messages from people like you from this group. So I feel really um, supported with grace, but it's also mm -hmm. really scary, right? To fully surrender into the unknown and the void and say, yeah. you know, universe, take me where I need to go. And I'm not in, I'm not in charge. I know I'm not. Denise, I want to share something. Debbie, do you mind if I kind of jump in? Please jump in. So, so Denise, when you start sharing the, the scenario of what's happening and you were making the list of things that were occurring, make that list again, like write out a list. And you mentioned a couple of things that you don't have to worry about because you're doing it, but you're still listing it as a problem. Mm -hmm. So conscious uncoupling, you're already doing that. But we put this label on it that creates work for it. And, but you already know that's your intention and that's how you're navigating it. So whew, breathe into, oh, well, yeah, I'm already doing that. Loving your children. You already know you're loving your children. You don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that. But you put yeah. that on the list of a problem because you want to do this in a way that you're loving your children. But you're already doing that. So we compound things because there's a severity that we feel in it. And so we take it in through our emotions because again, like Debbie said, we're trying to grasp for something, an outcome. And so we put all of these things on top of it as a way of expressing, but attuned to those things that you're already doing, give yourself credit for it mm -hmm. be in your knowing of it. And that's going to amplify even greater clarity to flow through because your list is going to get shorter. Mm, it's beautiful, that's John. Thank you. Yeah. That's give great. Yeah, and thank you for calling in and blessings to you. Congratulations on your uncoupling. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. It's such a gift when we know to let go. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, I mean, really, it's such a gift when you just know and you follow that guidance. So blessings to you and your family and to your, and to your partner as well, obviously. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Terry. So beautiful. Um, you know, um, can I say something about the children? Um, uh, yeah. The, this, the one thing I've noticed from the angels is energy. So if, if she's unhappy, the children feel that undercurrent. Mm -hmm. So you going towards joy is going to actually help 
your children. You know, yeah. it's gonna, they're gonna get that undercurrent of joy. Mm -hmm. So it's Thank just gonna help them. Affirming that. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Okay. Blessings, Terry. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next caller. Um, Magda, let's see if you can unmute. I don't see you on video, but I want to call on you today if you're available. Um, hi, John. Hi. I don't, can you hear me okay? We can, yes. Welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, actually, um, I, I showed up quite late uh, just a few minutes ago. And no, you're right on time. You're right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And uh, I'm feeling awfully sick. Uh, I think we've had the cancer conversation and uh, I haven't had treatment. I'm just kind of healing myself. Uh, but I also just moved into a new apartment in Cedar City and I'm overwhelmed. The place looks like a storage unit. And sorry, I'm just trying to adjust this. And, What's your question for Debbie? Oh God, I look like hell. Um, and I'm, I'm awfully sick right now. Uh, and I'm just trying to find a way to move forward and cope. And um, uh, my question is how to move forward and cope and what kind of therapy, whether self or um, Western medicine, uh, might I, uh, these are the questions, how, how, to, how, to, how to heal the cancer. I don't really want to do Western medicine. Um, and, uh, um, and, uh, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by being in transition in a, you know, and, and uh, having to cope by myself and just kind of, uh, you know, and getting sick, getting sick um, because of, I'm weak, you know, just getting um, side effects from cancer and side effects from being um, overwhelmed and, uh, uh, just too much stress. So, That's what the, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, I, 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 I hope my question is on point. I, I just kind of spoke from my heart. Magda, angels say number one is reduce stress. You know, just go one day at a time. Don't go too far ahead. Don't go three days ahead. Go, go just, in the now be as much in the now as possible it's better for you yeah sure yeah um i'm definitely doing that and they also mentioned now i'm not sure what this is and you might have to research what i'm hearing but is there some kind of water therapy or eight i don't know h2o some kind of therapy for cancer it felt uh, like it was a holistic approach, but I don't know it. I don't know what it's called. I just heard it and I feel it. H2O, isn't that air? Isn't that oxygen? Or is, isn't H2O um, I, uh Sorry, I'm like, I'm not at my best right now. Um, no, take your time, take your time. H2O is water, John yes. H2O is water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Someone just wrote it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, I know about ozone therapy and high vitamin C, high dose vitamin C. I didn't know about hydrogen water. Um, so I into that. Yeah, there, there. I, I honestly don't know the name of it. I just heard like a piece of it or a clue, but. The angels just said that as a, as a clue of something to look into that's alternative for you, but also just to be more in the moment and just get through the day. Kind of what we were talking about. We talked about the full moon eclipse, just get through the day. The eclipse, you know, the energy is so strong. Just get through the day. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, okay. So, so what I'm, what I'm hearing is look to alternative therapies and don't, worry that I'm not going the Western route. It's kind of what I'm into, what I'm, since they haven't said anything else, I'm intuiting that or I'm assuming. Yeah, you're, you're, you're assuming, right. I'm assuming? Yeah. Yes. Trust your intuition with help. You know, you could find that and look it up and be like, I don't like it. You know, I want, 
It's just something I heard that may help you. Is, is it an alternative to Western? It could be a compliment to Western. So I, I don't feel to resist, be open in the, in the, each day, what idea comes to you. And if something's repeating, if someone's saying the same instruction over, check that out. Angels talk through a lot of voices. Okay. Right, They'll repeat it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is my second time around uh, with cancer. And um, the first time I did it, it was integrative. I prepped my body holistically. And then the right thing to do was to have an operation at the tail end. Uh, and it was diagnosed as terminal and the whole thing just switched around. And, you know, five years later, I'm still here. Um, awesome. A friend did say a couple of days ago, Magda, go back. Sure. I mean, she was, I was saying, I've just got to remember what I did last time. And, and she suggested, you know, by all means, go back and look at what you did last time, but be open to new things as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I there think you go. Thank you, Magda. Yeah. Blessings. Okay. And with as everything, it's when we create separation is when we start getting into a lot of the confusion of the divine intelligence that wants to come in. But if we're mm -hmm. open without judgment and you can feel in your heart and you can go into what worked and you can feel a flow and you will start feeling a flow when something is alignment the resistance will stop shedding and you'll, it'll, you'll just naturally gravitate towards it. And I'll just leave everybody on this cause that there's miracles in everything, whether it's Western, Eastern, holistic and all this, and we'll be guided to what's right for us. So if we can let go of the hard judgment as to how it has to be, but also follow our intuition as a knowing that as a judgment, mm. uh, that's where the grace shows up. That's where the gray shows up. Um, and Magda, blessings to you as always. Thank you. Um, all right, let's go to another caller. Let's go to Donna. Hello, welcome. Donna. <clears throat> Hi, John. Hi, Debbie. Hi. I would, I would like to ask a question about uh, a pet. And uh, first of all, which archangel do you call for assistance with healing for pets? You can call any of them, but okay. Raphael, I like Raphael for pets. But, okay. I mean, you. I've used Michael, I've I have used to. Samuel. Yeah, just whoever your heart tells you to, but Raphael's really good with healing and physical healing. Okay, good. Well, I have a little 14 year old Pomeranian that's oh. tiny, tiny, and he was diagnosed with lymphoma and he's, the, he's lived over four months longer because of ozone therapy than the, ah. they thought. But he developed a lesion on an abscess on one eye and um, they can't figure out. I, take, I go to a holistic vet, but we don't really know how to treat, to treat it. Uh, they've uh, drawn his plasma but they can get so little blood out of him that they've had a donor dog. And now we were there today, they're getting another donor dog for tomorrow because the plasma really seems to help, but it's something that's an anomaly. It doesn't typically happen. They don't know if the steroids might've caused it or what. And so they're not really certain how to treat it. I just wondered if you had any insight. I have to tell you what I heard, and this was from Gabriel. This is Gabriel. Leave it alone. Oh, okay. That's got chills. I, I, it's what I heard. Again, anything I get, any message I get, it has to resonate with you, and you'll you'll you feel that way in your heart. But that's okay. what I heard. Okay. Now they are preparing tomorrow from another donor dog, another plasma, and that seemed has seemed to help more than anything else but should i not give that to him or go ahead and use that and just not try anything else or go ahead and do that and just know if it's still not taking you know what okay. i mean but well it is it, getting a little bit better but it's it's pretty <laughs> severe 
Yeah, I just, I don't, uh, something about the eye, I just heard, leave it alone. Like, it okay. didn't need any more Oh, good, because, I mean, the options are the oncologist and, you know, they do surgery and put a lens in or take no. the eye out and leave all that alone. stuff. No, I don't want to do that. Beautiful. It, leave the oh, eye alone. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Donna. Thank you. My goodness, y'all. Hey, you know what? Let's go into the special offer. April, will you type in the link into the chat box, please? Um, April's going to put that in there for us here quickly. She's put it in there before. It's just so many comments are coming in that you might have to scroll up a little bit to find it. Um, there it is. Y'all click on that. Click on that. And Debbie, just go through what you're offering in the special offer. Well, the first thing is the 45-minute session, which seems to go by in five minutes. It's sure. just you and I go in this journey together and it just feels like time it doesn't exist in that moment and loved ones will come um it's similar to what we're doing now but a lot of information will come in in the beginning without me knowing anything to help you or a lot of information you already know in your heart that's confirmation but um and then there's plenty of time for questions. If the angels see some health stuff, they'll talk about it. If loved ones, a lot of times will see health things or help with health. So there's a lot of messages from loved ones in the reading as well. Mm. And, and um, there's two MP3s, the white light clearing, which I love. You could do it every day or any day you feel I love off. that clearing, yes. <laughs> it's a good one. It works and, and you, you you can do it as much as you want. And the other one is a sound healing. That is the sound, oh, it's a sound salt bath. And yes. that that's like clears your EMF. Right now we're being blasted with 5G, you know, all the technology's ramped up. And this is like a salt bath, which cleans that off our, our, our aura field, keeps our aura field strong. I call it, I call it your swiffering the aura field. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Swiffer yeah. salt bath, 434 minutes. <laughs> Sound Swiffer salt bath is the, is the <laughs> uh, which is so cool. And so with Debbie, it's like, you can just feel just the, uh, the intentionality and, and the clarity that you bring in and love Debbie. It's so wonderful. And Debbie, I have to mention from my last reading with you, it's, the housing and the land, it feels like it's coming through. Mm. Debbie had called, up, had called us out quite a few months back and reiterated it again. So we'll see who's dangling the keys for property on Hawaii, but it's 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 definitely coming to fruition. It's coming. Yeah. 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 It's coming, John. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then a couple of other things that you mentioned. It's just so on point. I just I just love it. It's, yeah. But, I, I, but, I, but I'm not, I'm going to try not to drag it into my field. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> yeah. Get the boomerang. Get the boomerang. Yes. Get the boomerang. <laughs> let go and let God and boomerang it. Yes. And, yes. In the, and in the meantime, I'll swift for my field. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So y'all, the, the special offer, the 45 minutes with Debbie is just magical. Such a great time. And the information that comes through is just, ah. It's like you, the relaxation that you feel just by the confirmation, um, but also the guidance that you feel and the loved ones that show up for support. It's just, it's, it's a magical experience. Um, and we're stepping into the time where we get to feel even more magic than before. And when you're in the field with someone who can hold that and amplify it for you so that you can know it's possible so then you then can hold it. It's just, it's, it's a whole nother layer, layer of ascension that's available to us by attuning to someone else who's accessing it. Um, so y'all take advantage of it and show up with some questions if you want to. Um, it's, Debbie's awesome. So again, take advantage of it. The 45 minute reading, the, the two MP3s at $137 and the two payment option. And it's still alive during the replays in this live call here for y'all on BTO for the holidays and into the new year. So fantastic time for this. And again, the link is in the chat box for you to get there to it. 
Um, and Debbie, if you're ready, I want to continue with some more Q&A. More questions. Let's do it. Doing more Q&A. Natalie, I'm guided to go to you. Natalie Rodriguez, welcome. That's because I asked my spirit guides. <laughs> oh, you leaned in. Good, good job. <laughs> hi, hi, Natalie. Hi, Debbie. I'm Natalie. I'm in Seattle, Washington. Um, so I've been kind of pondering what I want to ask. And I think um, I was up for two promotional opportunities and I actually turned them both down. Um, and that's held a lot of like regret in my heart. Um, and going back, I know that it was me just happier about whether I could handle the, the change. Um, mm. And now I'm just kind of wondering what can I do to draw in the right opportunity for me if there's something that I'm not doing um, yeah, and that's the question. Well, I, you're, I heard good news, Gabriel. There's another opportunity by February. So there's another thing coming to you at the same place. They're going to try. They haven't given up on you. They think you can do it. So you get another opportunity to do something else. What, what I also saw was you, you, it's funny. It's, it's, you'll know in the next opportunity, you, you won't, you weren't ready. You'll be ready. Does that make sense? Thank you. A lot of you just weren't ready. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got another one coming. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. And that seems like the right timing for me. <laughs> so there you go. Guys. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for calling in. All right, let's continue here. Let's go to, let's go to Richard. Richard, welcome. Hi, John. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, Richard. Um, hi, Debbie. Good to see you. Well, I see you hi. this time. I haven't read you. With you a little over a year ago. Uh, oh, wow. Hi. Uh, for, for John and anybody else that's listening, um, I was living in a house um, and um, I was renting a room from a retired professor. And he had passed away in September of last year. And my future of where I was going to go was very uncertain. What do you help me out? Hey, Richard, excuse me a second. Yeah, can, can you hear Richard yeah. okay? His volume's a little low. Yeah, your volume's a little low or you keep going in and out, Richard, and it's hard to hear you. Um, and what's your question for Debbie while we're at it? Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, my question my, my question has to do with health. There he is. Um, um, I recently went to a, a, a traditional uh, clinic that I, I go to uh, for Western medicine uh, and, and got in touch with some things. Uh, and I now, again, have a, an appointment with my uh, doctor that I used to have years ago. I haven't seen her in years. I, I now have an appointment for a physical. And I, I know that I don't want to take that, that vaccination. Coming up. I just really uh, don't feel that, that that would be good. But I'm, I'm even, well, my question is, is how about the, the, uh, the swab, you know, the, the test for, for COVID? Is that something I can avoid also? You, to, you, let me make sure I heard you right, Richard. Are you asking if you should take the COVID test? Yeah, I'm asking, yeah, should, or should I avoid it? Yeah, right. I know that's well, I just heard, I heard, that's that. What I heard is you don't need it, but if if you want to take it to double check, I don't I don't hear that. That's what's going on with you. I keep hearing circulation, circulation, which is uh, like beet beet juice and different uh, the blood and circulation, anti-inflammatory. It seems like there's other health you know things you could do that are not not in a viral realm. They seem more 
circulation, maybe um, uh, baby aspirin. Do you have anything in your family with uh, blood clots or aneurysm? Uh, my deceased uh, uh, father and grandparents had heart problems. Look at circulation and beats and those, you know, Chinese medicine, something that would help you. But I would get the physical too, and that'll help you. That'll help you know what to do from there. But I don't pick up viral at all, to be honest. All right, Richard, blessings too. Yeah. yeah thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Funny, Debbie, when I get into those, I don't know, and it's like if it's this back and forth all the times, it's, Sometimes we just have to make a decision one way and see how that feels for a few days. And then our, guide, like that. our guidance may just call us into something different, but we have to try on the hats instead of being in the uncertainty. So a maybe is a no and hold a no for a while. It's like, all right, it's a no. And then yep. your intelligence, your intuition, all that may lead you back into, eh, it's kind of still bugging me. It's still rubbing me. And if it's still rubbing you, then perhaps, all right, if it's not going to hurt me, if it's just going to illuminate something, then it's kind of like not wanting to check our bank account because we're afraid we're not going to have any money. Well, <laughs> if you're afraid you're not going to have any money, it's probably because you don't. <laughs> so you might as well check Good it. Good analogy. It's pain of it so that you can know what you're dealing with. Um, yeah. And sometimes it can be that obvious, but again, it's we get caught up in other people's stories and opinions and judgments about things that... Um, and how they're relating to it rather than allowing ourselves to relate to it through our individual relationship with it. Mm. Um, and so just ground into that and follow your guidance. And whenever that confusion comes up, it's like, wait, is this confusion because it's my confusion or am I reading so many other people's fields that I just don't know how to take action because you're wobbling in between and you're really empathic. So we're being guided to tap into our unique intelligence. And from that, your connection will become that much more clear because you're not feeling the connection from these other places of confusion. Um, and thank you, Richard. Um, let's go now to another caller. Let's go to Emily. Welcome to the call. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to respond that way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> So Emily. Oh my God. Hi, She's in Mexico. Hi, Hi sweetie. Yes. And I'm doing the same thing, waiting for the land and the keys. <laughs> and I'm just trying so hard to not get like I remember last time you were here, we talked about Tulum, right? Was it no, not Tulum. Um, oh. Well, that might have been like a year ago, but anyway, I'm not in I'm in a different area. Okay. But, um but good if that was true that, no I don't think that was me anyways um I'm just trying not to get in the way but I'm so I I've been waiting for this for 20 years and I'm so close and and I have the ringing in my ear like non-stop in my left ear so I'm like are they talking to me are they telling me something am I not getting the message um any yes. advice the ringing in the air means you have help on the other side. Put, give it to them. Give it, like, you guys do it. I'm showed up. I'm here. I'm in the right location. I've done all the footwork. Now it's up to you guys. Help me. And that's that let it go. Then let it go. Hey, Debbie, I want, I want you to continue, but I want to ask a question. Yeah, yeah. Emily, I'm going to give you crap. That's okay. If, oh. if, you let, if, if you let it go, what are you gonna do with your time? Um, well, the same, the same thing I'm doing with my time now. Okay. Which would be, I mean, I work, I work, I see, I see clients virtually and I also paint and I also go to the beach. <laughs> that's beach time. That's a pretty full life. It's it's just I feel like there's something I should be doing and I don't know what's the next step because I was in the momentum and things doors were opening, things were happening, moving forward and I 
loved it. And now it feels like I'm in a, the doldrums, you know? That's a sailing term, I think. It and is. There's no, there's no wind and you're just like sitting there in the middle of the ocean, like, okay. <laughs> I've had that experience lately also, where there was a lot of momentum and all of a sudden. <laughs> so yeah. if there's a step that I need to take, um, I'm open to hear about it. Angels say change for the better is coming. So everything is getting better, not worse, for sure. So where you're at now, it just improves. I also heard finance improves. So there's a financial improvement as well. I have two people that I'm going to be meeting with that are potential partners. I just want to check in and see if, are you still getting, this is something I should do by myself or that maybe one of them might be a good fit. I heard this, someone, you have a loved one in heaven who just said this, hmm. as long as you're the boss. <laughs> someone in heaven just said that yes you can partner but you have to be the boss in the partnership okay. whatever that means okay thank you <laughs> you got it sweetie you look, you look beautiful you look beautiful and sunshine you, you too you too i'm gonna be building your guest room don't don't worry <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Blessings Bye, anyway. Emily. Thanks for calling Thank in. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You know, one thing I want all of us to reflect on, or I'd like to invite all of us to reflect on, and, and this is a message from myself also, is, hey, Emily, I'm with you. I get to hang out. I get to go to the beach. I get to be on calls that are just so uplifting. And there's this but, 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 and, and <laughs> but it's also wonderful at the same time. And I know it. Mm -hmm there's like this, just this little piece that we can access more of the joy and the gratitude. And it's not that you don't have gratitude because I feel that from you and I feel that expression, but there's something in us that wants to be in the, to be able to receive more. And that, that was a big thing for me in my reading from you, Debbie. It's like, I'm learning to receive. I've opened to receive in the way that I haven't before. And it's new for me. And so that receptivity of what is here rather than what we're hoping will get here so that we can feel a certain way. Um, there's a huge blessing in that for all of us right now. That's well, great and true. Wow. Well, you reminded me that in the last session, Debbie, and it's, it, it really ignited something, a relaxation in me. And that relaxation actually provided in the letting go and the allowing to receive with my arms wide open instead of clutching onto what was coming in, <laughs> right? And the wide arms wide open, allowing it to flow to me as it's ready to relax in that state of, of organic unfoldment mm. that it's come in in ways that I couldn't have imagined and very quickly surprisingly so so it's 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 such a gift that aspect of gratitude and receiving what is um because what unfolds after that is i have quickly found out that it's more than i could have anticipated in the most beautiful way yeah so wonderful wow emily thank you for bringing that in and for reminding me of that yeah that's great Beautiful. All right, let's go to another caller. Let's go to Kara. Let's go to you. Welcome. Hi, John. Hi, Debbie. Hi, um, Kara. I love your energy, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I have two, I have two um, painting projects of painting energy that I will be putting on display in January. Um, do, you, do you see anything that I need to hear about them, I do think they have actual application. I'm just not sure how to access that yet. The whole time you're talking, I just hear blue, blue. Do you know what that means, blue? 
is, is one of them, is one of the projects have more blue in it or a location blue? Oh, or... well, um, yeah, one of the projects focuses on the universe, on outer space more. I have chills. Something about that one is is really strong. Like like maybe first it's the first one or the strong one, or focus on that one. But it feels uh, it it feels like that one has a longevity or a strength in it, or there's more to it. Yep. There's more. I think there's more to it because the yeah. question I asked when I started painting them is what kind of energy, what kind of new energy is coming into us now? And that's mm. what I've been painting. So maybe, so I awesome. think. Awesome. Yep. So more expand, like we're, 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 we're learning to let go and receive more. Like John said, that's really going on right now. We have to let go so our heart's open to receive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So focus on those you're saying. That's the strongest thing right now. Wow. Okay. okay. Kara, thank you so much. This is really interesting. And this takes me into the, the shipping analogies again. And it's about untying the bows from the shore. And again, we've been as human, as humanity, we've been holding on to the shore for a long time and we're being invited to let go and to allow those oceans, those waters to take us to new places. But y'all already know how to steer the ship. You don't have to worry mm -hmm. about sticking so closely to the shore anymore. Like use that vessel, that vehicle that you have and take it out and explore those cosmos, Kara, everybody on this call like let go Being there's a few of them oh wow beautiful awesome yeah. <laughs> Here, thank anyway you. that's thank you thank you for sharing on it yeah it's amazing i saw blue yeah, good all right careful <laughs> they all have deep blue <laughs> thank you debbie that's awesome thank you and and there's another Kara on the line. And Kara, I know I excited oh. you, and that's not fair. So let's get you on. <laughs> hi, Debbie. Hi, John. Hi, um, Kara. Hi. I miss you, Debbie. Um, <laughs> Don't you hate it when someone calls your name and you get all excited and it's like, oh, someone else? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. So this is going to sound a little bit silly, but it's been on my mind. So I have to ask it. Um, I feel like a soulmate came into my life this year, but. I can't be with them romantically, but I can't stop thinking about them, which is very rare for me. So I'm not really sure how to, how to like sit with that and not feel so guilty with my feelings. Do you have any messages about that? The angels say uh, soulmates are they come into our life. I've, you were supposed to meet that person. They shook you up. They come in our life and they shake us up. And we grow because of them. So you can ask the angel, okay, I'm supposed, this is, this is an opportunity. This isn't an obstacle. It's an opportunity. Show me why this happened. You know, you can even say that every day, show me something, show me what I need to see, show me what, and they will. But the, the thing with soulmate is they, they either come in, you crash auras, you shake it up and you grow and go. Mm. They don't always stay. Or you grow and grow and grow and grow together. There's two ways soulmates go, but they always cause spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. So no accident you met them, no accident. And there's something, there's a magic to your spiritual path because that happened. Mm -hmm. Hey, Debbie, is there a past life mm -hmm. here that's wanting to come? Oh, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. hundred percent. And so that's, I get, that's why the guilt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty intense on both sides, but mm-hmm. it just can't happen. So. But, but it is happening. <laughs> because you're feeling it. <laughs> it's happening in a different timeline. Of course. You know, so. So you, if you're ready, whenever you are, you can ask the angels to release what does not serve you in this lifetime that's related to that lifetime, whatever it is, when you're ready. That's strong. And they can, yeah. Carrots right there, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, so beautiful. Congratulations, how beautiful. <laughs> How beautiful. beautiful. It's yeah, we can get into judgment about relationships and how they show up in different ways. And Mm -hmm. if we just get back to the essence that it's love manifesting itself in form and not judge because of what other people may feel or what they may deem about it, if you show up in your integrity Mm -hmm. with that and it's in integrity and there's nothing to hide. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. With them. So that's how I know that they're um, a special person from my soul family. What a beautiful invitation to embody that in every aspect of your life. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's big. It's big to meet some someone that shakes you up. Big mm-hmm. deal. Beautiful. Thank you, Kara, for sharing. You're welcome. Come back and listen to the replay. We'll have the replay coming up a little bit later. Um, all right, let's continue on with callers. Um, Pierina, let's go to you. Hi, John. Thanks for calling. Um, hi, Debbie. I'm just, hi. Hi. I'm just curious if the angels have any messages for me regarding either love life or career or whatever coming through. I hear like dance music, dancing. Is that something you do or want to do or are into? I can hear, I just, I saw dancing and music. Is that something, a hobby? Not really. I haven't gone to a club in a long time. What about a loved one on the other side who was into all that? Like dancing, music. I, I'm not even sure what kind of dancing it is, but I can feel the, them. They could be from the other side as well. But it's all around you, like this dancing and music. It's a way to connect to what you want. It, it's also help from the other side to get what you want. I, I don't know, because I don't, I don't really listen. I don't put on music and dance around. I just... If I do listen to music, it's like yoga music or just chanting or I like silence. Keep doing, keep doing the the yoga music, whatever resonates with you, keep doing that. There's something, there's someone around you. Hang on, hang on. We've got a loved one in heaven and they, they like, they liked music. That's how they um that's their personality they're using it or talking about it and trying to get to you like me my grandma i know she used to like dancing at weddings but Uh, the one the one relative that 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 memory is in your head she they they enjoyed it they that was part of their thing they're helping you with what you want. Okay. Have you felt her or thought she was around? No. She, she's been around and is there any room that has any pink or pink color? In my house? Mm-hmm. No, my whole house is painted white. With, uh, but like like decoration or I see like a soft I got a house pink. coat that's pinkish. She sees pink and sees you. Something pink. She's been around. Debbie, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. So and Pierina, I can 
feel you and, and I can relate because I have this impetus also. How can we go from being so invested in the energy that we want and riding that wave into creating something that stimulates what we want, but isn't directly what we want? Because there's, I feel the strong pull, but from Pierdina, it's like, oh, I'm not getting the answer. It's going to lead me directly into what it is that I want to land on. But there's something else that wants to open in the flow. And how do we use that flow to facilitate a congruence with with that resonant field. It's the excitement, John. You're you're right. The, they want this this loved one is like that was whatever her excitement was. She's trying to get her excited mm. about it, whatever it is, and she's also trying to help her. But there's this there's this love too that's helping her too. Mm. So you have help. Dance, Pierina. Okay, I'll start dancing. dancing yes. <laughs> dance, dance to yoga music. I've done that. Yeah. Dance to yoga music. It's it's cool. It's dreamy. I like it. Thanks for calling in, Pierina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let's continue here. Um, what time is? Oh, we got time, y'all. <laughs> The special offer with Debbie. I said we were going to go a little bit shorter today, but this is just so good. I'm, Debbie's <laughs> I'm um, sorry. You're not cool <laughs> continuing or you're okay? Oh, no, I'm fine. No. I'm not cool. Debbie, you're funny. Um, the special <laughs> offer, the link is in the chat box. Get, get the reading, get the meditations with Debbie. You know where to find it now. Uh, two payment options on it as well. Um, let's go, Aaron, let's go to you. E-R-I-N, Aaron Conley, in case there's a couple of Aaron's on the line. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Um, it's the first time I've ever called in, but I listened to all the replays. Um, it's My question is really overly simple. I have felt an enormous energetic shift recently, um, a settling in with myself and a, and a true receiving without making everything so hard. <laughs> and it feels amazing. So I just wanted to know um, if the angels have any guidance, um, to can, how I can continue to support myself, but also how do I hear the angels? I tend to overthink. I tend to want to be right and try to do it right. And I just want to relax into, you know, just, um, whether it's hearing or feeling or sensing, um, I just need a little guidance so I can just practice and not overthink. Mm. That's awesome. I, you are having like this ecliptical moment at like a, on the eclipse. It's like, you have a lot of things syncing up and the yeah. angels say, look for synchronicities. They are giving you synchronicities. So when you see, I have chills. When you see these little synchronicities, that's your angels lining it up. Got it. Is that, that's your clue that it was them. Got it. Like a sensing, like a sensing or a, or a knowing. Well, but it's also because you sensed I should do this at this time. And then it all synced up. And I'm not overthinking. So that's part no. of it. Yeah. No. Yeah. But it, every time you get the aha, uh -huh, I'm glad I did that. I thought about it. So they are coming through clear cognizance, which is, you know, thinking like putting a thought in your mind, yeah. but the thought gives you direction that adds to a synchronicity. But nothing's hard. It's all flow. It feels so good. So I can trust that and enjoy that. It feels amazing. <laughs> I didn't like my mom would always say, Aaron, you make things way too hard. You're making it too hard. And now it feels like I'm not making anything hard. It's just coming in and I'm going with it. So it feels awesome. Bingo. You get the thought and you're like, oh, okay, Shh, go with it. There's no resistance. Yeah. So then the more you do it and the more it works, the more you get and the more you hear them. Yeah. You are hearing them. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> So it, Debbie, oh, I had a call that, that I led for the, the membership and, I, and we were talking about empathy 
and mm. empathic ability and as an empath and being sensitive how that was wrong for other people until I decided that it wasn't I thought it was very wrong for me for a long time because it was wrong for other people as well mm. but then I came into the awareness that no it's perfect for me and so me being in my flow and in my rhythm with that sensitivity and with that empathic ability and not resisting it awakened something much more profound and access to an intelligence that I had been repressed, repressing for so long for the sake of someone else because mm -hmm. it wasn't in their flow. And I'd say the same is true for your intelligence. Wow. It's so true, John. For your mother doesn't mean it's not right for you. You don't have to keep making yourself wrong because it doesn't fit them. And as you relax into that, the clarity and your permission to be in it, it's just, you're not wobbling in somebody else's field anymore. It's, it's you. It's so beautiful. Oh, and I, I don't have to play small anymore. So thank you. I, oh. I mean, not, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way. No way. Yeah. No, it feels not that everyone, anyone told me to play small, but, you know, just sensing and absorbing, <laughs> collecting all this stuff, you know? So um, thank you. I, I'm resonating with everything that you're saying. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Erin. That's thank so you. wonderful. Thank yes. you, Aaron. Own your stuff. It is so beautiful. <laughs> it is so beautiful. We can't, it's, the only way to fit in is just to be yourself. Um, everything else is 100%. just. 100%. Yeah. All right. Let's go to another caller here. Um, Mara, let's go to you now. Mara, Mara, you'll unmute. Can you hear me? Hi, yes. Ah, there she is. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for taking me. This is also my first uh, experience, so I'm so excited. Um, you guys are amazing. So mm -hmm. I have sort of a different question. Well, two kind of questions. One is I had an experience yesterday with a horse. I know that sounds kind of weird, but th there was like some sort of communication or there was some sort mm -hmm. of transmission or something. And I felt something. I wondered if I could get some uh, further clarification on maybe what that was, what it was about. Well, I love that you connected with horses are magical. They're in the same realm as dolphins. Yeah. You know, they're these amazing, yeah. magical, high vibrational beings. I heard this. You were on the same frequency with the horse. So you're resonating in your vibration in their high vibration. So you actually synced up with the animal and they're super high vibration. So something you're doing is right. You're accessing a high vibration. But I also feel like you got a healing from the horse. Mm -hmm. Did you feel good and different uh and happy? I felt like a shot of something. Like I, I felt, uh, yeah, yeah, like I definitely felt a shot of something. And, and I'm working on animal communication uh, now. Oh, wow. And I try to communicate after to say like, what was this about? But I'm in my head too much. So I'm always thinking, oh, I'm just making it up in my own head. So I was just wondering what the what the guidance was, what really kind of did happen. So, but I definitely felt a shot of something. But I, I felt that there was some sort of communication. Like I felt he was trying to communicate with me on some level, and I was getting frustrated. I couldn't quite grasp it or understand it. Sometimes with animals, sometimes with you know. It's more the feeling, you know, sometimes there's no words for it. Our mind is maybe looking for a word or mm -hmm. something, but they, they, they're so, uh, they, have they have feelings we can't even comprehend. They have energies we can't comprehend. So you got it in the way the horse knew the best way to give it to you. Do you, do you know what I mean? The fact that you felt that is huge. That means you're okay. open. You're on that frequency to feel it, to receive it. 
cool. Thank you. And there was one other yeah. question. I'm about to make a huge move and I've been um, back and forth as to whether it's the right decision. So it's okay. like, I think. Do you want to know what I heard? Yes. <laughs> and it's again, someone in heaven. As soon as you said, I'm about to make a move, I heard no. Like, like, like almost like a loved one would go, don't do it, don't do it. But that's their opinion. They were giving their opinion. It was someone who loves you. Huh, interesting. That, okay, I would have thought my parents had both yeah. over and they would be 100% for the move. It's kind of done. Like I signed papers and stuff, but I've been feeling like, am I going to regret it? Um, but I, I do feel like think it's the right move um but i've just been feeling weird in my body yeah so so if you when i'll tell you what the it was a gentleman no hair like he's losing his hair barely has any hair on top does that sound familiar yeah, that could be my father my grandfather i don't know they not a lot of hair um and he was very expressive, like the way he said it was like, there was no hesitation, very opinionated person. Yeah, that sounds like my grandfather. He was very opinionated. We never got <laughs> yeah. along. Maybe he's not okay. giving that so <laughs> That's who's giving you the information and his opinion. So huh. if you've already signed everything. Yeah. It's, it's, just yeah. do it. You just got to do it. You just got to do it. There okay, so no other direction from the angels on the move other than my grandfather who passed over? And Mary, I, oh, go ahead, John, go ahead. No, I was going to say, Mary, this sounds like a deeper session for you because there's a lot of doubt and kind of like wobbling for you. And to answer it in like the next 60 seconds, I don't think would do you service. And I feel okay. like there's something in your field that wants to relax around it. Uh, but Debbie, please go ahead. So that's what I was going to say. When whenever we are deciding something and we're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, the angels are always saying, "Wait." It's a way they tell us to wait, gather more information. We don't have all our information. So, if you've been going back and forth, they're doing that for a reason. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Mara. Debbie, it's Thank funny. You. It's funny because um. I love my dad. He transitioned, I don't know, five, six years ago, <laughs> years ago. And sometimes he'd come in with very strong opinions of what to do. I'm like, dude, just like, I know how you <laughs> life. Why would I listen to you? <laughs> you don't have to listen to them, but me, boy, they have their opinion. <laughs> let me bring in the council. Hold on a second. Let's see if they concur. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd play with it. And again, with a lot of love and, and a lot of laughter with that. And if he was really insisting, it was like, stop being so pushy. It's like, hold on a second. It's like, what's mm -hmm. coming through? What's your why? And asking questions. And then ask, is this in my highest alignment? Is, or is there more right. available, right? And in that, by asking more questions, instead of just listening to the stimulus and the etheric, because y'all, we are not separate from the etheric. We have that intelligence within us also. They're just mirroring mm. it to us. Yep. And, lots of toys. and of course, the angels and our guides and all that, it's free will, baby. <laughs> and we get to choose this experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so we get to trust ourselves. And if guidance and his love comes in to share and, um, and to help steer a trajectory that perhaps we can't see, um, we get to be in counsel with that, not be um, victim of circumstance because it's pulling us directly into their will. Um, so it's, it's interesting. It's interesting what comes up through that. Um, play with your guides, argue with them, as be irreverent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Yeah, so wonderful. So Mara, thank you so much. I'm guided to take one more caller y'all. And there's, um, okay, there's a couple of Kathy's on the phone. Let me describe the Kathy because I'm really compelled. Kathy, blonde hair with like a wrought iron background, yellow wall. Um, 
Oh, oh hi, it's Katie. Well, even better, <laughs> Katie, less confusing. Oh, hi. And you just read my twin sister a few minutes ago. Her name was Erin, so that's crazy. Oh, Thank you. Oh. Hi, Thank Katie. you. Hi. Well, it's so funny she said what she said because lately we've been talking because we had our grandma pass away almost 10 years ago. And ever since then, um, I think we've been connected to her and hearing and feeling and seeing. But lately, our, her husband, um, our grandpa is older now, and I've been having dreams about him. Um, she's been in the dreams and telling me messages, um, maybe alluding to the fact of his passing soon, but it's sad because we love him so much, but it's comforting. And I'm just wondering if that's truly her telling us everything's going to be okay or what actually the message is. Um, I guess that's kind of what I'm wondering if it's, it's truly her coming through. And if that's the message, what message does she want us to hear? So in the so it is her i want to ask in the dream is she excited and happy um is the first she, how dream, is she the, the first dream she was laying there still um like she had passed away and she was preparing our grandpa for that but the most recent dream i had she had my sister and i with her arms around us and we were walking away but the feeling was of comfort and love and uh, you're going to be okay. She, so she's right. You're going to be okay. No matter what. So is he. Yes. She's that's she exactly came, what she came. Yeah. Okay. You got the message. It's not cryptic. It's, it, was, it was very clear. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Katie, yeah. thank you so much for calling. Yeah, it's helpful yes, cool. that, both, that both you and your sister showed up. I love it. Yes, that's cool. That's, that's <laughs> great. Cool. Little that I know. Can't plan that stuff. Um, Y'all, the readings with Debbie, take advantage of it. The link will be in the chat box one more time. Um, you can scroll up and find it also. 45 minutes, um, the two recordings, the, the Swiffering and the sound <laughs> is available. Um, and if you missed it, Go back and listen. No, but we'll run the replays also and come back and listen and you'll have access to the calls. But again, I highly recommend the sessions of Debbie. It's just, uh, what a great gift to give to yourself during this time. And Debbie, you're just, that's, I just freaking love you. You're, <laughs> you're just, yeah, you're just, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's how I describe it, y'all. With Debbie, it's just, ah, uh, you know what I mean, right? Y'all get it. Thank John, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. This is so fun every time, every time. Yeah, and thank you for letting me play with you as well. So, <laughs> y'all, it's almost the holidays, solstice, eclipse, New mm -hmm. Year. Just, God, it's my one bit of advice is love the hell out of yourself during this time. All the love that you've given to everyone else in all of this lifetime, get that, accumulate that, and fill your cup with it. And from that overflow, you can give to others, but open to receive open to your own love it's just it's it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so thank you all in acknowledgement of that energy of that intention of that love that you carry and it's with that that i am wishing you an amazing holiday season a beautiful new year filled with the best of everything that the universe has to offer um i love you guys I look forward to seeing you soon. And Debbie, I love you. I look forward to seeing you soon as well. Thank you. Love you, John. Love you, everybody. Thank you so much. This was awesome. Bye, y'all.